Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you um, the new items. A little bit late, maybe like a week late, maybe I was a little bit lazy late. But you know what? Now I'm showing you. So you got these rubber blocks that you get to bounce on and all you have to do is press space when you hit it. So I'm not pressing it and then now I suddenly press space when I go in and then you jump a little bit higher. Oh. Um. You ruined my test bud. You ruined my test, okay? This was supposed to be a short, dense, beautiful design. Okay, thank you very much. Okay, let's pretend that we're back on schedule. So you jump, and then you you want to press jump. If you don't press jump, you're not going to gain velocity. You actually will lose it. But you can get up to about 45 uh, blocks. You can see what this indicator, 10, 20, 30, 45 almost, nearly. Uh, you can't go anymore, even if you drop from a higher location. Uh, you can get like only around here-ish. But like, let me just show you. I'm just gonna be from the very top. This is what is it? I think 65 blocks, or whatever. Um. Oh wait, really? Okay, that I didn't expect that. Oh wait, yeah, yeah, yeah. So it actually descales. Even when I'm pressing it, it still doesn't rebound you enough. So when you go like 80 blocks. Actually, it's 80, by the way, um, from that top, or 79, or whatever. Um, you keep going down until you get about 45 blocks. That's really the uh, amount of rebound that, that COG designated. So it's a really good block, and I'll talk to you about that in a sec. But then you got this new block, which it's really, like, it's slippery. When I move on it, it's like, let's say, wait, let me get on it. Oh, it's very easy to fall off, actually, is another thing. But I press my up, and then you see, compared to the normal block, which when you stop, you stop. I mean, there's a little bit of resistance, but, I mean, or there's resistance, but not like the, um, the rubber one, which you kind of, like, if you stop, you kind of slide for a little bit. It's kind of, it actually feels a little bit more slippery. Now, that makes a really weird thing, because it's slippery, and then it's, like, jittery. So, you see what's happening? It, it like, jitters you up. I did not press spacebar at all. Uh, wait. Okay, sometimes it does that. It's not that common. Yeah, like that. Okay. Another thing that can be really annoying is if I just do a little light tap, I'm not even pressing space, and it still just keeps going and keeps going until it hits, like, about here in height. Like, right here. Right? Right? Distinctly remember it stopping. No? I guess it doesn't stop. Okay. New things. Another thing is if you pass blocks around it, it stops like a kind of like a regular block, honestly. Um, but then once you start like moving it about, like if I drop it, 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 it does the same thing as you. Um, it moves like you expect a normal block. It kind of doesn't want it. Well, this is the exact opposite. Um, if I move it even a little bit, I'm just going to watch. I'm not even going to touch it. Just watch how I just, I bumped it a little bit, and it's going to go the whole way there. I believe it's frictionless. It might not be. In item form, these, uh, well, this item slides like that. This item slides like this. They're the same exact thing in terms of sliding. And if you jump on it, there's no cool effects. Same thing for here. There's no cool effects. It's the same thing in, in item form. But in block form, it's very slippery, and that one's very good for jumping. Uh, why is that important? Well, rubber, you get these two blocks from rubber and uh, to make or hyper rubber blocks, which was the stuff we were jumping on. And you get this from pits. It's uh, some, like, I'd say maybe like 5% of the balls that spawn there. Uh, the rest you're supposed to yank out to get the flux at the very bottom. But the balls like 5% of them are these flux balls that you literally mine with uh, slugs. It's probably like around 10 shots of slug to, to take it out. And then they drop six, uh, sorry, 32 uh, hyper rubber, which you can use inside of a, um, well, an engineering fab, right? To, uh, to craft both silica, both gla smooth glass block, which was slippery stuff and hyper rubber. Um, you can also make in a uh, machine fab, you can make a, uh, with rubber, 
item launchers and pushers now require silica. It used to not need it. I guess it's for like the glass part and the rubber is for the bouncy part. Now what's really cool about this, a lot of people anyways, like the way you obtain silica compared to there is a lot easier. You just get it from regular bots uh, compared to rubber, which is kind of valuable right now. It's not going to be that valuable because it's not that useful for anything else. But silica, you get it from from any type or you get it from red bots, but you also can get in the canary zone from those uh, yellow bots that you don't want to mine out because they're really scary. Um, so it's not difficult to get silica rubber. It's not difficult, but it's not like unlimited supply like silica where you could just farm. So why would I actually use rubber compared to just a normal thing? Like this is just a cool thing for parkour. See, see, we're going to stop No. Either way, let's say I left something on the top of my shield fabs. This is a good example because these areas you tend to you tend them not that you usually have them next to your loot, so they're like next to it. Now you don't need ladders like the ladders over here. You don't need them because uh, and that saves you an, uh, space because now I can get that item compared to here. I have to use two extra blocks of width which significantly almost increases the, well, it increases the side by 50% for these ladders to be like this. And usually your loot will be here. So you need another set of nets. It's really annoying. And then you can get the item. It's a little bit nicer because you don't have to bounce. You can do it a little bit more dense. Sometimes you'll have problems with items slipping in though. Uh, so that's the problem. It can be, so it'll be one thicker. So the good thing about the rubber is it's slower, but it's a lot more space efficient compared to straight ladders, which is really... Uh, easy to use but takes a lot of space and um, like half ladders or whatever uh, you want to call it which is uh, not too space efficient like the rubber but pretty space efficient and uh, usually you don't have trouble with the items and you can usually just throw them out so um, that's a really cool use that can actually save you a significant portion of your area another thing is you can use these uh, smooth glass to actually propel things really really uh, well you can see how that thing is going to just move forever. Uh, and if I even do it for like a split second, that thing is just going to slide without any force. Let's say um, let's say I start pushing a lot of these. You're, you're not going to have too much trouble. And it's just going to go to its location. You, don't, you can have a lot of these items just, just moving around. And that's really nice. You can also use an item launcher, which again, in my previous video, I showed you, you can configure the direction. Um, oh great, now I have to find the right, and the amount of power. So if I do zero, even with zero, it's not gonna, oh wait, yeah, it's a zero momentum. It only is a spawn, but if you do one, what? What was that spawn though? You see, it's actually, it's actually moving. A weird thing also is, now I can do this in the time I have, is it can like, Oh, well, sometimes what happens if you're standing there is it'll actually teleport uh, through you when you do it. It's a weird glitch, but it actually can be useful. Now, the great thing is if you combo it, because it is going to slow it down. But what happens is you get a very uh, fast early push, which can help your system just run more smoothly. Because a lot of the times you're not going to be able to put silica because you can't... Um, I, I believe you can't, uh, or not silica, whatever, glass. Like on a regular block, you can put a, a fabricator. But on a um, on a smooth block, you need, I, I don't think you can place it, which is really annoying. Oh, you can place it. Well, that's a plus, but sorry, the loaders, though, you can't place it on loaders. Like, um, let me show you. Um... In that case, you, you're going to want to, you can't use it for the whole way, so you might want to double up. It's very nice to double up. Let me just show you with this system how it would be feasible. Imagine this is loaders and the RCs are right over here. It's a great system that could help help actually make it work. Now, compared to a regular block system, you're going to notice a huge difference. Well, um, Well, first off, well, there's that, but th that's not that has nothing to do with the actual problem. If I put enough items in, um, well, this is this is a weird problem. <laughs> Just go in there, jeez. Well, you can notice how it's not as smooth, but what are you doing? 
you just go in like that, go in like that. I mean, I guess it's really difficult to get them in. I, don't, I have no idea. Either way, you're going to see it substantially slows down compared to when you put a lot of them. They just slide through at a way faster velocity. Now, another thing is if you have fabricators above them, like let's say you have the fabricators and then they, the materials just feed down. And a lot of people do have these systems. It's um, So that, that would be... Well, I guess not an instance where you would need that, but if you had the loaders on the other end, so you had the loaders at the very bottom of the system, comparatively. Oh, wait. Let me go sandbox. If you had it like this, and you wanted to have a launcher here. Now, keep in mind, a launcher is t requires twice the flux of a regular... Um, of a right of a of a pusher which requires twice the flux of a loader so it's a lot more expensive it's eight flux for a launcher compared to a pusher which is four and a launcher which is only a loader which is only two so launchers are quite expensive they're really nice though to have especially for redundancy considering if you're going crit uh which means you run out of shields up here then you let's say one of these gets destroyed you still have the other and either one usually ends up working another thing about launchers that's actually insanely useful is uh with pushers you might not have the push power to go up but if you have enough of these just like this and let's say you don't want you can't do a uh you want like a so, I don't know. There's certain instances where this is very important, especially on some of the newer design ships. You want this not to be an on and that to not be on so it doesn't ruin my video. But you also could want it just to go straight up like this because then you can just launch it safely. So if you have like a lot of loot, like, wait, let me make a fly mode. You just have so much loot and it's stacking up. It's a really good idea to... Um, to just get it real high up and then that way it's pretty much guaranteed to throw because if you have a launcher like this but you just spam that thing it actually can't get its it well come on prove prove my video correct yeah you see now it's off because it's full um so i hope i got i showed you enough about this i hope this actually helps for parkours or potentially making your ships a little better with little uh tweaks like that rubber block or so or using glass blocks to help your system just run faster and better and clog less that's another benefit and uh, i hope you enjoy please leave a comment because i need comments because comments help me not be bad at youtube yep bye